Welcome to this week's Movie Math, where it looks like January is becoming a hot month for movies. Last year, Ride Along was able to boast the biggest debut for the month ever with 41.5 million. And this year, Taken 3 was able to almost match that with a 40 million debut. Hmm, perhaps the rumor that Batman v Superman will be broken into two parts, with the first hitting theaters in October 2015, isn't so crazy after all. Fox already has Channing Tatum's Gambit set for October 2016. In fact, the upcoming The Wedding Ringer, Fifty Shades of Grey, and perhaps even Kingsman The Secret Service are all expected to post big numbers in January and February, further proof that the old school rules of when and what kind of movies you can release are quickly fading away. And while Taken 3 might have come in at about 10 million shy of Taken 2's debut, the second flick did enjoy an October release. Man, big things are really beginning to happen in October. And still, this third entry is Liam Neeson's biggest opening since that second flick. A much-needed rebound after A Walk Among the Tombstones was greeted by a tombstone at the box office. This also makes for a hot streak for Luca Bassat, as Lucy opened basically on par earlier in July. Much needed for the French filmmaker, who's the family Three Days to Kill in Brick Mansions made for something of a losing streak. Taken 3's debut also proves that Neeson and Bassan's particular set of skills can't be so easily duplicated, as not only did Kevin Costner fail to match this franchise's box office performance, but so did Pierce Brosnan's The November Man, Keanu Reeves' John Wick, and even Denzel Washington's The Equalizer. We'll have to wait and see how Sean Penn's The Gunman does in March. Hmm, maybe Liam Neeson and his copycats should team up for some kind of highbrow version of The Expendables. Would anyone pay to see that? Then Selma finally went wide this weekend with surprisingly impressive results, and perhaps foreshadowed more surprises to come during awards season. The Martin Luther King Jr. bio is from the team behind 12 Years a Slave, yet when that prestige flick went wide it only made it to 7th place with a little under 7 million. In comparison, Selma was able to take 2nd place with a little over 11 million. But the real magic could happen this weekend, where the pick is beautifully positioned. Not only is it Martin Luther King Jr. weekend, but it could have the combined heat of its Golden Globe nominations and win for Best Original Song and possible Oscar nominations, which will be announced Thursday morning right before said weekend. Yep, that could be one heck of a perfect box office storm. Elsewhere in the box office, it was very much looking like the calm before the storm, as the glut of holiday flicks and awards contenders just tried to tread water as we wait for those Oscar noms. Turns out Liam Neeson is also capable of taking down Middle Earth, as the final Hobbit film suffered its first big drop, falling 56% to fourth place. But worldwide, that burglar Bilbo was able to steal second place from Guardians of the Galaxy for the year. Can it reach a billion? It doesn't open in box office rich China until January 23rd, yet Smaug only managed to earn about 74 million there. Still, it's a possibility. And Into the Woods and Unbroken remained neck and neck, while the imitation game continued to show phenomenal staying power, dropping just about 2% in its third week of wide release. Inherent Vice expanded by about 600 theaters with far less impressive results, falling just outside the top 10 at number 11. It was just beat out by The Hunger Games Mockingjay Part 1 in its eighth week of release, and Katniss is on the verge of surpassing Star-Lord any day now to become the biggest grossing domestic film of 2014. Geez, with Guardians losing the domestic crown and dropping a spot worldwide, plus lackluster ratings for Agent Carter and a poor reception for the Ant-Man teaser trailer, makes for a rare bad week for Marvel. But don't worry, the new Avengers Age of Ultron trailer drops tonight, so it's all good. As for this coming holiday weekend, Selma might be well positioned, but it's also got a ton of competition. American Sniper goes wide and is expected to battle the wedding ringer for first place, while Paddington is also expected to do well with the family audience. And Marvel won't have to worry about Chris Hemsworth demanding a raise, as Black Hat is expected to debut far behind the rest of the pack. And that's the weekend box office. I'm Grace Randolph, and we just did some movie math. As always, thanks for watching, and I hope we'll go beyond the trailer for these other top movies.